well, there's another reason for them to celebrate today. On a spooky note, this is the day a year ago that suspected murderer Jeremy Peters was found dead in the local area. The killers remained unfound to this day. Now, the reason I bring this up is because of the popular stories and myths that have arisen from his murder. I've been taking callers for the last few minutes, and uh, now we have Martin on the line for his version. Are you there, Martin? Sure, I'm, buddy. Please explain to us what you think happened, Martin. I reckon he went out in the bush and faked his own murder. That wouldn't look like a suicide. That way his family might believe he wasn't a murderer, taking the easy way out. I don't really believe those ghost stories anyway. <laughs> okay, thanks, Martin. That's an interesting theory. Rubbish off. I don't want to hear what these people have to say about our brother. Well, well, I do. You know, sometimes I wonder what happened as well. Yeah, hi guys. I think what happened is the ghost of the girl who killed came back to kill him. People said she was a scary girl into some weird stuff. I don't know about you, but I've felt some strange feelings down that bush before. Yeah, well, some people might think you're a bit strange after that story, but nonetheless. I don't want to hear this crap anymore. Why? It upsets me, Josh. Come on, you know he deserved what he got. How can you say that? You don't even know him that well anyway, and you certainly don't know that he killed anybody. The only reason why we don't know what happened is because the cops around here aren't good enough to find out. But you're just going to have to deal with it, Mary. Senior do this and we can get over this crap. You know, I'm not gonna drive all this way out here to his grave every anniversary. Can you just try and understand that I don't think he had anything to do with this? What happened to him was just as horrible as what happened to that girl. Okay, fine. I just don't want to hear about it. stay in this town any longer than we have to. I reckon we should leave first thing in the morning. If I wasn't as tired as hell, I'd drive home tonight. Is this the right road? No. Get the map up. Can you turn the light on? these places. I always sleep like shit. I'm gonna take a shower. I feel disgusting having sat in that car all day.
Mary?"